Hey guys, so Apple has updated Dynamic Island for the first time ever since the official launch of the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys what are some of the new changes within iOS 16.1 and the new Dynamic Island, I guess you can call it 2.0. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, before we get to Dynamic Island and the new updates on iPhone 14 Pro, I wanted to quickly talk about the AirPods Pro first generation and the AirPods Max. On my previous video covering iOS 16.1, I mentioned that Apple had enabled adaptive transparency on these older devices like the AirPods Max and the AirPods Pro first generation. Now, this adaptive transparency mode is a new feature only available on AirPods Pro second generation, which is quite unfortunate. I just wanted to update you guys quickly on that airpods pro first generation and airpods max will not be getting adapted transparency mode feature on 16.1 after all it was a bug within the software that caused this little glitch to happen and now let's get to dynamic island i want to go ahead and show you here the lock screen is the first thing i want to show you now this iphone here on the right is running ios 16.1 a previous beta before the update so i want to call it dynamic island 1.0 right and the 2.0 is on the left can you see the difference right away there when both devices are locked do you see dynamic island on the left there with a highlighted gray sort of halo around the actual island and this is one of the minor updates to the island and this also translates to other things when you airdrop something when you connect your airpods when you enable or disable the mute switch and you have a dark wallpaper or even set a timer dynamic island gets highlighted with this new update and i'm going to show you some new gestures here as well in comparison to the previous dynamic island so let's just get right to it so as i mentioned on the left i have the 2.0 dynamic island and the first generation on the one on the right here so i want to go ahead and play some music here on this device running dynamic island as you can see right there we send the music directly to the island let's go ahead and set a timer here as well and we can send that over to dynamic island as well and now we have two bubbles there but we see that nothing is really sort of highlighted with this dark wallpaper that's the first thing i want to go ahead and show you here let's go ahead and do that here on the 2.0 version of dynamic island and let's send that over to the island right there let's go ahead and put the music down there just for copyright so let's go ahead and go ahead and play some music and set this timer and you can see right there the actual timer is highlighted with a halo around it right there in the island as well as something not really found here on the previous generation of dynamic island i like this a lot because it highlights the actual dynamic island and anything that you're doing within the actual interactions here with a dynamic island and now again this also translates over to the mute switch the island gets highlighted when you do that when you airdrop something when you connect airpods and there's also new gestures so for example on previous generation you can swipe over to the right there you can sort of do these sort of gestures here to sort of take the timer into the entire island there and and then just swipe it away just like so right well on the new version of dynamic island we can actually do a lot more so we can actually swipe over to the right here or the left as you can see right there and completely uh, remove the actual timer or swipe down and bring it back and we can swipe to the right here as well so depending on where you swipe and how you swipe you can actually go ahead and make it disappear completely you can swipe down to make these bubbles actually disappear from dynamic island is sort of interesting i'm sort of getting used to the actual interaction here on how to use it myself but it looks like Apple has added gestures here to dynamic island as you can see right there we can swipe all the way bring this bubble into place here as well again it's going to take some time for many users to get used to this new interactions here uh, but I think Apple will polish these up within time you can swipe down to break these up as I mentioned just like so right there it is and uh, new gestures can also have you bring the entire timer into the island sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's just something that Apple is continuing uh, to change up here but it is something that's new gestures within the island where you can go ahead and interact with these bubbles here on the actual island as well so i'm going to continue testing the software i just wanted to share these quick updates here on dynamic island on the iphone 14 pro as you can see right here and the iphone 14 pro max thank you for watching today's video guys i hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you think about these new updates thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace